Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success, an online free educational institute. So we have been carrying out the WBCS main chemistry series and today we will be discussing on concept of atom, molecule and subatomic particles. So this particular video is presented by me, Shishya Numitro, a research scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. So these are my email IDs. If you have any queries, you can anytime write me emails and I will be happy to reply to your emails. Here is something about myself, I have done B.Sc. in Chemistry Honours from University of Calcutta, then B.Tech in Chemical Engineering from the same university, after that I did job from uh, in Exxonable India Limited now, I am doing research in Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. So this video would be relevant to WBCS preliminary and main examination and also for JE aspirants. Suppose you are appearing for WBJE or JE mains for IIT entrance examination for clearing the concept, this video would be helpful, but if you are preparing for engineering entrance, then you would require more things and that I will be uploading in a separate video, for. but for clearing the concept, you can go through this video, I am merging this video, so, so that people from various fields get benefit out of it. Ok, now let us proceed with the topic, so just a minute, yeah. So the concept, uh, the topic is the concept of atom, molecule and subatomic particles. So if we want to make these things clear, then we need to start from the very beginning. Now this video is particularly for people from non-technical background because they even do not know what atom is exactly, what molecule exactly and what subatomic particles means. So, let us start with the substance. Suppose this is a substance, a stone. Say so this is a stone. Okay. Now, the first thing you should think is that what are the things this stone is composed of? What is there inside this stone? And in order to get the answer, what we do? We break into smaller pieces. Now after breaking what will happen? It will be it will become smaller particles like this. Now we are not satisfied yet. So what we do? We grind it say we have a mortar pistol and we grind it by this mortar pistol and after grinding so the operation name is grinding. So after grinding we get very small particles like this side say dust type particles we get dust type particles now once we get this dust type particle now the thing is it is now it is now difficult to break into smaller pieces more small pieces but this is not the tiny one even we can get smaller particle out of it. Maybe in our in our the tools which are available by which you cannot break it, but it can be broken into more small pieces. Okay. Now how much extent we can go that is beyond our imagination. That means this small dust particle may have millions of atoms. So now you can imagine what would be the size of the the size of the smallest particle. Now the smallest one which we get that is called either atom or molecule. Now you may think why am I making you confused? Because I am telling this is a molecule or atom. But I am not specifically telling you whether it is an atom or it is a molecule. So from this question you have to understand atom and molecules. Why am I telling it is either atom or molecule? Because suppose this is a material, this is a pure material. Now what is pure material? That means it would have only single thing. Suppose this is iron. Now you all know iron is an element. Okay, so if it is iron, then iron is an element 
and the formula is Fe. Yeah, this is the formula of iron. That means in this material we have only iron. So this is an element and the smallest one of uh, that we can obtain would be iron. And if it is an element, then the smallest particle is called atom. But instead of iron, say this is solid carbon dioxide. Just for imagination, say, say this is a solid carbon dioxide. So the smallest particle of this material would also be CO2, a single CO2 and that single CO2 is called molecule. So in short I can say if it is an element then the smallest particle is called atom and if it is a molecule, the, sorry if it is a compound then the smallest particle is called molecule. Now the smallest particle whenever I am saying that means the particle which could exist physically which we can actually, we cannot touch, but we can actually visualize a single existence is possible. That is called the smallest particle and in case of element it is atom and in case of compound it is molecule. Now what would happen, suppose now I start with a single molecule of CO2. So this is the smallest unit of CO2 which can exist, which can exist in nature. But when CO2 does any chemical reaction, it takes part in a reaction, then what happens? It can be broken into, it can be split into carbon and oxygen. For say, there is a reaction where we get from carbon dioxide, we get carbon and oxygen. For simplicity, I will take another example. Suppose I am splitting water, electrolysis of water, that would give you H2 plus O2, right? So, this is the molecule and on splitting I am getting H2 and O2. So, one can say that uh, now the smallest unit of H2 is not H2, it is H2 and O2 separately. But the thing is, in order to get H2 and O2 from this H2 molecule, you need to carry out a chemical reaction. When it undergoes a chemical reaction and gives certain smaller particles, smaller material, then it is called atom. That means H2 is a molecule and the consisting smallest particle that is H2 and O2 is again molecule here. Why? Because there are two atoms in H2. There are two atoms of H. A single one is called atom and jointly it is molecule. So, two things you should take in your mind that is in molecule the smallest particle of an element that can also be a molecule that means hydrogen it is element and the smallest one would be a hydrogen molecule but when it takes part in chemical reaction it splits into atom so this is not I mean uh, the existence of one hydrogen is not possible but when it is undergoing chemical reaction inside the chemical reaction H can be generated okay so that H is element, H is atom, okay. Okay, now what is subatomic particle? So now we understand what is atom, what is molecule. So now we take say an atom of hydrogen. Now inside hydrogen what is there? There is a nucleus we all know. And around the nucleus we have different shells where electrons reside. In case of hydrogen, the atomic number is 1 and the mass number is only 1. That means there is a single proton in the nucleus and around the proton one electron is moving. 
this is the hydrogen atom. So these things are called subatomic particles. That means the particles which are there inside an atom are called subatomic particles. So in subatomic particles we have proton, you have neutron, we have electron. For WBCS purpose this much thing is absolutely okay. We have other particles also, those are invented recent days, but we do not need to know now. So these things are called subatomic particles. From the word sub, from the prefix sub you can understand it is smaller than atom and the particles are there inside an atom are subatomic particles. So now I will uh, I will make two questions so that things become more clear. Suppose I give you a mixture of water, say I give you a mixture of water and sugar. In a glass I have given you water and inside that you have sugar. Sugar is added inside water and mixed properly that means if after mixing you cannot see the molecules of sugar. So this system if I split into droplets that means I split into smaller smaller droplets of this mixture this thing. So now this is what would be this thing. This things would be your droplets of sugar solution in the water. Now if I evaporate this droplet what would happen? Now I take a single droplet and I start evaporating the water. So after some time what would happen? All the water molecules would be evaporated and we will get few solid material and that solid material would be your sugar. Now that sugar would be composed of many small particles of sugar and in the sugar is basically a compound of carbon hydrogen. So the smallest one from this would be a molecule of sugar. Again if I split sugar by some chemical reaction and if we can get carbon and hydrogen then that carbon and hydrogen individually will be called, we will call it atom. So I guess from this example you can understand what is the smallest particle of anything, what is atom, what is molecule and all those things. So if you like my video please share it on social media so that people, other people can get benefit out of it and kindly subscribe, subscribe to our channel. We motivate us to make more videos for you. Thank you very much.